introduce our new unit, the CHTX. This is our uh, non-submerged cylinder head pressure tester to check for leaks in the, the water jacket of engine heads. So uh, today I'm going to be setting up a uh, Suzuki four-cylinder head uh, real quick just to show you guys how this goes together and uh, the simple operation of the machine. Uh, it does come with all the tooling. Uh, up here we have the acrylic plate to cover the top, some gum rubber. Each machine will come with a fresh sheet of gum rubber. And then of course our hold down and our uh, nuts for holding it into place. It does come with two simple parallels just in case uh, it's needed during operation. So. Um, the controls are real basic. We have our main power switch here. You can see the machine starting up. We have a low water switch there to uh, prevent uh, heaters from being uh, from burning out during operation. So first step to start here to press that. We have a heater on off. You can see I already have my uh, water heated up to about 112. Uh, this should match the operating temperature of the engine that you're testing. We have a pump on off switch and a three position rotate here to rotate the cradle. And then our operation switches here. We have our bow valves and our air regulator there. So just to get started here. I do already have all the uh, all the uh, extra holes on the water jacket plugged up here on the sides, and then an inlet and an outlet here on either side of the, uh, the head. So the goal during uh, pressure testing is to seal up all the uh, the openings in the head of the water jacket and of course here on the top where the valves are there are quite a few uh, openings that's why I have these gum rubbers cut here we'll seal it up with that We'll use the acrylic plate to uh, cinch those down. get a little bit of force on those nuts to apply enough pressure to get the gum rubber to seal up. Obviously, it does take quite a little bit of pressure to uh, get that to seal up. Uh, we can check how well it's sealed naturally as soon as you put pressure and water into it. If it's not sealed up right, it'll start spraying water. So we'll find out here in just a second. We have the two lines that we can uh, that we connect to the head. So the line on the left side of the machine is inlet, 
line on the right side of the machine is outlet. So at this point, this should be sealed up and ready to test. The controls on the front side here are pretty simple. Uh, we have water in, water out, and then air in. Um, I'm testing at about 100 PSI at the moment. So we can turn the pump on and turn our water in on. And it'll start pumping water in. And here we'll be able to tell real quick if uh, we're not sealed up properly. The pump is pneumatic, so it will automatically stop when it reaches a maximum pressure. So, obviously, we don't have any major leaks. We'll have water spraying everywhere. I am at the 220 degrees. So, during testing, the proper thing to do would be to try and bring that head up to pressure. So, what we'll do is we'll turn the water off. Ball valve open. We'll let the water flow through the head for a little bit. The reason we do this is to bring the head up to what would be an operating temperature of the engine to help uh, simulate the actual operation when the engine is uh, in a vehicle or whatever the application is and that will help expose any of the micro fracturing that's inside the engine that could be caused. and turn that water off, the water in off, and we'll put back pressure behind the water. And this is where we really start to see that I, I don't have it quite sealed up properly. At this point, we just take the plate off and readjust the seals to get that water jacket sealed up. Uh, don't have any, we can put some more water into it. And then put the back pressure on it. And so this is the steam from when the head wasn't sealed up right, but we're, we don't have any water spraying out. We don't have any additional steam being added there. The best check for that is uh, here the, uh, the gauge is holding pressure. I don't have any fluctuation and it's as high as I set it previously when we're pressurizing the block. There's no fluctuation, so we're not, we're not losing air or water outside of the block this would be considered a successful test. Otherwise, you would see air or steam escaping from the block. And uh, so that's it. Uh, here, we can go ahead and turn on the water off. I have the air in still on, and the air is going to kind of help push the water out of the head so you don't have a lot of water coming out onto the drain tray. ahead and turn all that off and so that would be a successful test for the head um, some of the, the extra little features we do have a number of sizes of, of acrylic plates available um, the machine comes with five standard and we can offer any other size acrylic plate just depending on what your need is or if you're doing industrial size engines on the back side of the machine we have the uh, the water tank that includes a, uh, a temperature sensor, a low water switch, and the heating element. It also has a uh, filter for the drain so that no particular contact is And uh, the drive motor is accessible from the back side as well. 